We do the medicals for people that are emigrating to Australia and New Zealand. They will get told when their medicals are due by their agent and they will then be advised once they've lodged their application that comes nearer the end to have their medical. People are very nervous about medicals but there's no need to be. Um, it's a major part of them going because obviously without their medical clearance they cannot be accepted. Um, it's best not to leave it to the last minute in case they've got any sort of underlying problems they don't know about or any sort of issues, any previous medical problems that need to be investigated a little bit further. But the medical itself, they need to sort of allow a good half an hour per person and all people need to have their medicals including newborn babies which surprises people. All um, people age over 11 will need a chest x-ray and most people that are going permanently, well all people that are going permanently, will need a blood test. If they're working in the medical or the nursing profession, they will also need to have a Hep B and a Hep C blood test. Although they've had it done loads of times before, it still has to be done by a panel doctor. And the big mistake people do make is they do not think that they have to see a panel radiologist, but they must adhere to that. They can only go to a panel doctor that's on the list or a panel radiologist that's on the list to do the medicals. People tend to think that if they've got something like diabetes that it's going to exclude them from going. Not necessarily. No matter what major sort of condition you might have, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be excluded. It really does depend whether you're on treatment, what kind of treatment you're on, what kind of consultant you're under, that sort of thing. So for medicals it's always very important to bring as much information with you as possible from consultants or your GP. It's usually always at the end, yes, but they should never leave it to the last minute in case something comes up that's going to take a little bit longer to investigate. The advice I would say to them that if they are under a medical specialist to bring as much information with them to the medical. This will save them a huge amount of time, so like copies of letters from the specialist, copies of letters from their GP, because if not we will ask for extra information which can delay the process. The medical form and the x-ray form can be downloaded again from our website and that will give you an indication of the kind of things that the doctor will be looking for. The doctor, it's very important that you know that the doctor that does your medical does not make the final decision, however that does come from Australia. He will make recommendations and then it's finally up to the people on the Australian Medical Board. We will sometimes write a letter to their own GP if we feel it necessary, depending on the situation, for them to take to get more relevant information for them to bring along. But if not, we will encourage them when they book an appointment. We, we do go over everything with them and we will encourage them if there is a medical problem that's already existing that they need to bring more information with them for the doctor.